Welcome to Future Doctor NEET Academy for the problem solving session in NEET physics. Topic chosen today is from chapter 14 waves. Let's move to first question. Two waves are represented by the equations y1 equal to a sin omega t plus kx plus 0 0.57 meter and y2 equal to a cos omega t plus kx meter. x is in meter, t is in second. The phase difference between them is dash. Equation of wave y equal to a sin omega t plus kx plus 5. That is the formula and two wave equation is given y1 equal to a sin omega t plus kx plus 0 0.57 and here we want to find del phi only. Okay, y1 is given, y2 is given in terms of a cos, convert the cos into sin, then y2 equal to y2 equal to a cos, convert to sin means a sin omega t plus kx plus pi by 2. Okay, and y1 is omega t plus kx plus 0 0.57. Then phase difference is del phi equal to del phi equal to this omega t plus k x plus pi by 2 minus omega t minus k x minus 0 0.57. Now cancel the things omega t plus omega t minus omega t plus k x minus k x getting cancelled. Then what is the remaining thing? Pi by 2 minus 0 0.57. Pi by 2 minus 0. 57. Pi is 3.14. 3.14 by 2. 3.14 by 2 minus 0 0.57. 3.14 by 2 is 1.57. So 1.57 minus 0 0.57 equal to 1 unit radian. That is option. Option B is the correct answer. Let's move to question number 2. Sound waves travel at 350 meter per second through a bomb air at 3500 meter per second through brass. The wavelength of 700 hertz sarcastic wave as it enters brass from warm air is dash. Equation for wave V equal to frequency n into lambda. Two velocity, two wavelength is given. So V1 equal to n1 lambda 1 and V2 equal to n2 lambda 2. And when sound waves travel from one medium to other medium, frequency is constant here. Frequency n1 equal to n2. And you want to find wavelength only. So v1 equal to n1 into lambda 1. Then lambda 1 equal to v1 by n1. And lambda 2 equal to v2 by n2. Then lambda 2 by lambda 1. Lambda 2 by lambda 1 equal to v1 by n1 into v2. No, v2 first. Yes. Lambda 2, no. So, V2. Lambda 2 equal to V2 by N2. V2 by N2 into V1 by N1. And uh, we said N1 equal to N2. So, this will be getting cancelled. N1, N2 getting cancelled. And substitute the value of V1 and V2. What is the value of V1? V1 is 350 and V2 is 3500. So, 3500 divided by 350. Okay. Then, 0, 0 getting cancelled. 0, 0 getting cancelled, then 35 and 350 means 10 times. So, how much? Lambda 2 by lambda 1 equal to 10 times. 10 times. Increases by a factor 10 times or decreases by a factor 10 times? Yes, increases by a factor because 10 is on the numerator. If it is 1 by 10, decreases. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Let's move to question number 3. A transverse wave propagating along x axis is represented by y of x, comma t equal to sine 0 0.5 pi x minus 4 pi t minus pi by 4. Here x is in meter and it is t is in second. Speed of the wave. Speed of the wave formula v equal to omega by k. Then compare this with the standard equation y equal to a sin omega t plus k x or y equal to a sin k x minus omega t plus phi. Phi is the initial phase. Okay. Compare this with this. What is the value of k? k equal to 0 0.55, k equal to 0 0.5 and omega is 4 pi and omega is equal to 4 pi. Substitute this here, v equal to omega is 4 pi by 0 0.5 pi. Then pi, pi getting cancelled. 4 by 5, 4 by 5 is 0 0.8, 4 by 0 0.5 is 8. So equal to 8 meter per second, v equal to 8 meter 
per circuit. Which option? D option. D option is the correct answer. Let's move to question number four. A point source emits sound equally in all direction in a non-observing medium. Two points P and Q are a distance of two meter and three meter from the source. The ratio of the intensity of the waves at P and Q. Formula I equal to P by four pi R square. And here I is proportional to one by R square or I is inversely proportional to R square. I one is inversely proportional to one by R one square. And I two is inversely proportional to one by R two square. R two square. Then they are asking ratio of intensity of P and Q. So I one by I two. I one by I two equal to three square. That is R two square by R one square. R two square by R one square. R two is three meter. Three square by two square. That is nine by four. That is nothing but nine is to four. Option E. Ne next question, fifth question. Question number five. Equation of a sound wave is given as y equal to 0.005 sine 62.4 x plus 316p. The wavelength of this wave is dash. We know the formula k equal to 2 pi by lambda. From that, lambda equal to k equal to 2 pi by lambda. Lambda equal to means 2 pi by k. 2 pi by. Now, compare this with standard equation. y equal to a sin k x minus omega t with y equal to 0.005 sine 62.4x plus 316t. K equal to 62.4. K equal to 62.4. Substitute this here. Lambda equal to 2 pi by 62.4. What's the value of pi? Pi is 3.14. 2 into 3.14 is 6.24. 6.24 by 62.4. We simplify this 10 times. Okay. Then 1 by 10 is 1 by 10 is 0 0.1. It's given as unit. So 1 by 10 is 0 0.1 unit that is option option d is the correct answer let's move to question number six the hospital uses an ultrasonic scanner to locate tumors in a tissue the operating frequency of the scanner is 4.2 megahertz the speed of sound in a tissue is 1.7 kilometer per second the wavelength of sound in a tissue that is we know the formula v equal to n into lambda and lambda equal to v by n for the given data n is given 4.2 megahertz. 4.2 megahertz convert into hertz means 4.2 into 10 power 6 hertz. And then, what's the other thing? Speed is given. Speed or velocity is given 1.7 kilometer per second convert into meter means 10 power 3 meter per second. Meter per second. This is meter per second. Meter per second. Substitute this here. Lambda equal to V is 1.7 into 10 power 3 by 4.2 into 10 power 6. Then simplify this 10 power 3, 10 power 6 means 10 power 3. And 4.2, 1 point sound, you will get 0 0.4. 0 0.4 into 10 power minus 3, and answer is given 10 power minus 4. Therefore, this is equal to option A. Option A is the correct answer. Let's move to last. An air column closed at one end and open at the other end. Resonating with a tuning fork when the smallest length of the column is 50 centimeter. The next to larger length of the column resonating with the same tuning fork is dash. Length you want to find. Length equal to lambda by 4 minus plus plus lambda by 2. That is, distance between two successive node or antinode is lambda by 2. Distance between two successive node and antinode is lambda by 4. This times of this L. This L. Then this is equal to lambda by 4 plus lambda by 2 gives 3 lambda by 4 into L is 50. 50. And if you simplify this, you will get L equal to 150 centimeter. We haven't convert the centimeter to meter, so we will get in centimeter. That is option B. Option B is the correct answer. Okay. Thank you, students. In next session, we will see through next chapter in problem solving session.